Meanwhile, at Whistling Straits, it was another day for practice rounds leading up to this weekend's Ryder Cup. Delaney Bry spent some time at the practice range where the players have been fine tuning their games. It was another beautiful day out here at Whistling Straits, and yes, all the focus is on the 18 holes that will make up this year's Ryder Cup course. But right here is the practice range, and in the grand scheme of things, it probably looks insignificant. However, this may be the championship or bust piece in the Ryder Cup puzzle. You know, see which way the ball's flying straight, a little bit left, a little bit right, and try to figure out if they want to make tweaks or if they're going to go out on the golf course and play with what they have. From the nets on the range that look more like Aaron Rodgers' target practice. Close enough. I mean, these are the best <laughs> players of the world hitting wedge shots into them. You know, for the average golfer, it's quite a challenge, but it's pretty cool to come out here and see them just pepper them. To perfecting the height of the grass. The preparation leading up to this was amazing. I mean, we've been at this for years getting ready for it. Yet nothing can be more important than the golf ball. Each player has a ball preference. We have about six or seven different types of balls out here. They're going through about a mesh bag or so, which is, you know, about 50 balls or so they're hitting. Multiply 50 by 12 players, that's 600. Multiply that by two teams, that's 1,200 balls. My crew is out there picking them, sorting them, and getting them ready for the next guy to come up. Now, there's no telling exactly how many golf balls Michael and his crew collect and wash, by the way, considering that players can come and go throughout the day to the practice range. But the next time you run into your local golf pro, thank them for the daily grind, whether they're hosting the Ryder Cup or just you and a couple of your golf buddies. Reporting at Whistling Straits, Delaney Bry, TMJ4 News.